Welcome back. I'm Margaret, your Code Wizards HQ instructor, and today our lesson is going to be about Python data types. So, what does data mean to you? Think about that a little bit and let's get into it. So, what is data? Data is information that is stored in your computer or in your code. So, it's a collection of numbers, letters, and symbols. Data can be broken down into groups, and these are what we call our data types, all right? Different types of data. Here we've got some of our basic data types that you're gonna be using, and there are more, but you wanna get familiar with these ones first. Each type has kind of special operations that can be performed on it. So for example, think superheroes, only Hulk can smash, only Superman can fly. That's how these data types are. So the first one is gonna be an integer. Second is a float. We've got a string, a Boolean, that one's a little bit weird, a list, a tuple, and a dictionary. So you can see here some examples of each of these different kinds of data. For today, we're gonna dive a little bit deeper into two different data types, the integers and the strings. So here you see some examples of the strings and the integers. Is there anything maybe you notice about each of these types of data? All right, let's talk about this. Let's see if you're right. Strings. So you may have noticed in the last slide that all of the strings had quotations around them. Basically, a string is any information that is surrounded by either single or double quotes. And this, again, can be letters, numbers, or symbols. All right, so this is a string. And here are some examples of some other strings. So the first one, it says, this is a string, right? It's inside of quotations. It's some text. Perfect. Right below that is the number one inside of quotes. Because it's inside of quotes, this is also gonna be a string. Now, right below that, we've got a tricky one. It's just two quotations. So this is also a string because it's inside quotes, but this is what we call an empty string. There's no information inside of it. So how about the integers? Was there anything you noticed that was similar about the integers? You might have noticed that they all look like numbers, and they are. Integers are whole numbers, and they are not surrounded by quotes, so whole numbers with no quotes around them. So we'll see here we've got 3, negative 42, 1,281,349, and 14. All right, so that's a big number, but we've got positive and negative numbers. These are our integers, and again, they're not surrounded by quotes. If these were surrounded by quotes, then they would become a string exactly so now we've got integers and strings and these are two of our python data types now let's test our knowledge i'm going to show you a couple pieces of data and you're going to tell me what data type you think it is do you think it's an integer or do you think it's a string so the first one here we have bmw what do you guys think since it's inside of quotations this one is going to be a string next 2025 what do you guys think string or integer Yes, we've got an integer here, right? No quotations, and it's a whole number. The next one, Roblox, inside of quotes. What do we got? A string, very good, you guys are on it. How about 22 inside quotes? This one's a little tricky. You might think that it's an integer, right? Because we've got a whole number, 22, but because it's inside quotes, we know that it's a string. Very good job. Okay, 33. You don't see any quotes, so this one is an integer. It's a whole number. And negative five. Negative five, yes, is also an integer. Great. It is a whole number, even if it's negative. Awesome job. I'm sure you guys got all of those correct, right? So we've got our string, our integer, a string, string, an integer, and an integer. Now you know all about string and integer data types. Next time, I'll show you how to use variables to store our data. Don't forget to subscribe for the rest of our Python mini course. Kids can also learn Python with live instructors at Code Wizards HQ. See you next time.